In this video, we're going to be writing equations um, of quadratics using the focus, vertex, or directrix based on the key, what they give you. So on the first part, um, I showed you guys what the relationship was between focus and directrix, and in this video, we're just going to pretty much use that to write our equations. Um, so the first advice I asked you is to try to sketch what you're given. Um, here the focus is 7, 6, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So somewhere here is your focus. And then the directrix is at y equals negative 2, which it will be a horizontal line crossing at um, when y equals negative 2. So this is your directrix. So with these two pieces of information, how can we write an equation? Well, again, the equations that we are able to write is whenever we have vertex form, slope intercept, I'm sorry, intercept form, or standard form. But vertex form is the one that will help us here because vertex is the one that relates to these two. So on the first video, I mentioned that when we have focus and directrix, our equation will be 1 over 4p, um, not equal, sorry, uh, x minus h squared plus k. And the relationship between the focus and directrix is that the vertex is somewhere here in the middle between these two. Um, so we need to calculate the distance of the directrix to the focus. If it's from negative 2 all the way to 6, that means there is a total distance of 8. And half of that is 4. So we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4. And in the middle right here is going to be our vertex. So these two are aligned, like if it was part of the axis of symmetry. That's why I kind of connected them straight right underneath each other. So the order pair for the vertex will be the same x value the focus has, and then the y value would be a positive 2, because our p value was uh, 4. OK, so with all this information, we're able to write our equation. We just substitute the p-value, so put a 4 in there, um, keep writing it equals, to, sorry about that, x minus your h, so your vertex, this is your h, and this is your k, so minus 7 squared plus 2. Uh, to finalize our equation, we just multiply those two, and it's y equals 1 over 16, x minus 7 squared plus 2. To double check that this is the correct equation, you can always use your calculator. So we will go to the calculator and graph this right here. We're going to graph the 1 over 16th. And then we put x squared, no I'm sorry, parentheses, x minus 7 squared um, plus 2. And once we have our parabola, we're going to analyze it and make sure that our focus is correct. So we go to analyze, analyze conics, and focus is right here. Click on the graph, and then our focus is 7, 6. Um, we also want to confirm that the directrix is correct, because that's the one they gave us. So analyze, analyze conics, and directrix is right here. Click on the graph, and that is your directrix. So, so these do confirm that the two pieces of information they gave us match the equation we created. All right. So another example that we can use to write an equation is when they give you the focus and the vertex. So once again, sketch. So negative 3 and then positive 6. This is our focus. And the vertex is 5, 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now something interesting happens here because now the focus is here and the vertex is here, which means that our directrix is somewhere over here. And our parabola is going to look like that, something like that. Oh, I forgot to mention on this one, because the focus is up here, the parabola will look like that, heading, looking up. So on this one, because it's sideways, we need to understand that our equation is going to be opposite. The x is what we start with. Um, the 1 over 4p has to be negative because it's facing the negative values, the parabola. And then our inside of our um, space right here, we'll have the y 
minus the k. So those also switch. So we're going to start with this equation. What do we need? We need our vertex and we need our p-value. So we already have our vertex, the 5, 6. We just now need to calculate the p-value. Um, from the previous example, again, the p-value is from the vertex to the directrix or vertex to the focus. We do have our vertex and focus right here. So we can just calculate the space that's in between them. That will be your p-value. So this is a 5 and this is a negative 3. So all of that will be an 8. So we're going to have negative 1 over 4 times 8. Um, actually, sorry, let me just put the p-value first, 8, and then now let's start the equation down here. Negative 1 over 4 times 8, uh, y minus k, so 6 plus your h, 5. So to simplify this, we're going to have x equals negative 1 over 32 y minus 6 squared plus 5. And this will be the final equation of our parabola. Once again, to confirm, I'm just going to quickly graph this in our calculator and confirm that this is correct. So in this calculator, this signifies y equals. So we're going to delete that part. And since there's no option for x, we're going to click relation and type x equals. And then now we type our fraction, so negative 1 over 32, parentheses y minus 6, and then squared plus 5. Okay. We're going to now go to analyze, and we're going to analyze the focus focus being 3, 6, negative 3, 6. That confirms our first part of information and then analyze, analyze vertex. So that's 5, 6. Okay, so based on our work, 5, 6 and negative 3, 6 is part of our equation. I hope this video helps you and sorry about the pink line. That was a typo. Let me know if you need more help. Have a good one.